All right. So chair yoga, I just want to give a little bit of a brief overview before we get into practice. So I'm going to be adjusting my camera throughout the practice so that you can see the bottom half. I don't want to be way back there because I want to feel as though I'm speaking directly to you, that we're having it that connection. And that has been something in the virtual world since 2020 that a lot of people have really strived to find that connection. And my experience has been the closer I can be to you, visibly, the more connected you feel. Now, if you have an opportunity to take my yoga classes that are not chair yoga, you're going to only hear my voice. I don't practice along with you. And it's, to me, my philosophy is it's not about perfecting a pose. It's about tuning inward. And so I opt to do the camera for chair yoga because it's a little bit different cueing. And I want you to be able to just follow along. Certainly as we progress through practicing together, it's nice to shut your eyes and just listen to the sound of my voice, which is a great skill for our cognitive function to be able to tune off the visual absorb the audio. And then how does that respond in your body? So Go ahead and watch along the first few times, figure out where you are in space. My chair for today is just a simple metal folding chair. It could be a sofa, it could be an easy chair, it could be a dining room chair. I like to have no arms on my chair and that's because we're gonna be opening our legs a little bit. So if you're on a sofa, I encourage you to scoot along to the, to the edge of the sofa so that you can turn and have the corner of the sofa Kind of be in that space. So here's the corner of my chair. Okay. So we're going to be doing some open leg this way, some gate pose as we progress. But to start, we're going to be seated. I'm on the edge of my chair. So I'm not kind of lazy hanging out on my chair like this. I'm engaging my core and I'm sitting tall. So that's where we're going to start and end is sitting right here. Okay. So go ahead and find that comfortable place on your chair. And close your beautiful eyes and take a breath. And then just empty the breath softly. This is the time in the class where we take an opportunity to intentionally decide that we are worth it, that we said yes to something that's going to benefit us. And we are intent to leave aside anything that's coming after this class your to-do list, the groceries, the house cleaning, just leave it be, just let it sit over there. With your eyes continued to stay closed, I want you to imagine in the pit of your stomach, there's a beautiful elevator. We're gonna ride that elevator on our inhale all the way up to the very top floor by our throats. And then we're gonna empty and lower that elevator all the way back down through the heart, through the belly, to the base of the body. You're gonna keep your eyes closed. I want you to do that five times. So we're gonna inhale, let it rise. It gets uncomfortable as it gets high up into the throat. And then let the elevator sink back down. Notice how the body responds to this. Take a breath in. and take a breath out. It can be open mouth or closed mouth. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Just do two more on your own. This last breath, I want you to let the breath rise higher than it's been. Let it come all the way as high as it can go in the body. And then on your exhale, let the shoulders sink away from your ears. And then just tune in and notice how five breaths changes the body. Going to separate your legs just a little bit. I tend to have my legs crossed a lot. So we're going to uncross the legs. Soles of the feet are going to be flat on the floor. Bring your palms to your knees or your thighs and just rub slightly along the top of your thighs, pulling the elbows back 
squeezing the shoulder blades, straightening the arms as they continue to just slide. So you can have your eyes closed or you can take a peek. I'm just sliding my arms forward, pulling my arms back, sliding forward, close your eyes. And just feel this sensation on your thighs. But then tune into the sensation, your shoulder blades. As you bring the elbows back, squeeze them together. Notice as you squeeze the shoulder blades together, the heart juts forward. Okay, we're gonna really dig into the heart today. We'll do three more of those, just feeling sensation. Two more. This last time, really squeeze those shoulders back and away. And then bring your shoulders forward. Hands are going to be on your thighs. We're going to take one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Close your eyes here, okay? This is the month of March. We're halfway through. And my favorite thing to teach in the month of March is this idea that within each of us is this beautiful garden bed. And so with your eyes closed, I want you to imagine somewhere outside that maybe you've seen or something you dream about, there's this garden bed. It could be a raised bed. It could be a bed that's surrounded by stone or rocks. It could be just a heap of dirt, just a pile. It could be a flower pot. And I want you to look in that garden at present day and just notice the things that are still there from last year. There's some trash and some twigs, some leaves, even some old plants that have long passed. And with your eyes closed, feeling the rhythm of your breath, your hands attached to your body, I want you to dip into your heart and imagine for a second that there is a garden in your heart. And in that garden, there are still some things left over things that are getting in the way of this season of growth. And those things can be things like fear, resentment, guilt, shame, disappointment. And in order for our garden to be rich, we need to clear out some of those things that were last year or 10 years ago. And so as you have this garden in your heart, in the coming months that we will be planting and nurturing and feeding and blooming. I want you to identify one thing in your garden heart that's overgrown, that's a pit of trash, that's a twig that doesn't belong. And through this practice, your intention might be to remove that one thing in your heart, in your garden, that has the potential to get in the way. Take a breath. Breathe out. Place your hands on your lap. We're going to start to circle our body. So I like to begin with the focus on my lower, below the belly button. Okay, so my sitting bones are moving from cheek to cheek. And I'm beginning to circle. We do this a lot in my studio practices. And I always do this in my brain injury specific classes. There's a method to the madness. There's a reason for this. It is good for any brain, any body. Notice that my circles are getting a little bigger. Okay. So I've taken that energy up through the heart. My shoulders are starting to get involved. My chin's getting involved. And now I want you to continue circling your body and close your eyes. Okay. This can be incredibly harmonizing. For the brain, it brings stability, it brings a sense of focus, it brings harmony and alignment to the hemispheres of the brain, but it can also be a little bit confusing at times. So just be with whatever shows up for you. We're going to take five more circles. I've closed my eyes. This is my favorite part of the practice. Three more. Feel your body move. Two more. This last circle, wind your body around, take a breath and hold the breath and pause. 
And then we're going to unwind, go the opposite direction. Just let whatever shows up be. All is good. If there's one of those little twigs in your garden, that's insecurity. Perhaps this is a beautiful opportunity to remove that. You're going to take five more circles on your own. Continue that smooth breath. And we'll do two more. Fantastic. Come back to a straight spine. Close your eyes if they're not closed. Take a big breath in. Empty the breath and just notice. If it causes some dizziness, you might find opening your eyes and inviting a focal point to be useful. Open your eyes. I'm gonna tee out the arms, palms are face down, okay? So my camera's not gonna show every body part of mine, so just follow it along and listen to your own body. I often say you're the best teacher. Shoulders are not up by my ears, they are tucked down the back. I'm gonna flip my palms towards the ceiling, take a breath and reach to the sky. Big good morning stretch. I'm gonna grab my left wrist and pull over to the right. Okay, so I'm just hooked like this, pulling. Come back to center, separate the hands, grab your right wrist and pull to the left. We're gonna take this a few times. You'll get the rhythm, come back to center. Lower your arms, exhale, the kitty has joined. Inhale up, grab your left wrist, exhale over. Inhale back up. Grab your right wrist and pull. If your breath is different than mine, take a breath when you need to. Up we go. And lower your arms. We're gonna do that again. And then we're gonna add on one more time like this. Inhale up. Grab your left wrist, exhale over. Inhale up, separate the hands. Grab your right, exhale over. You're gonna begin to notice the breath. It does a lot of the work. Take a breath in. Exhale, down we go. We're going to change it this time. Circle your arms up, big breath in. This time you're going to bend your elbows, lift your nose to the sky and breathe out. Reach back to the sky, maybe look up, lower your body, let your belly find your legs and touch your toes. Just come on down. I'm going to scoot back just a little. We're going to rise our hands to our knees, come up halfway. Touch your toes again and fold. Come all the way up slow. Leave your arms down and roll your shoulders. Okay, so this is called a half sun salutation. We're going to take it three to five times, just kind of figuring out our body in space. But the intention here is that we allow the breath to do the work and we get out of our head of thinking this is right or wrong. Am I doing it right? You're not doing anything right or wrong. You are you. And you're feeling your body and that's that's what we're here for. Lower your hands. Drop your shoulders down and back. My spine is super straight. I'm just going to flip around just so that you can see, okay? Not there. I'm here. And what that does is it allows the breath to be fully capacity inside those lungs. And so that means my brain's getting what it needs. My body's getting at what it needs. My nervous system is happy. Here we go. Palms face down. There forward, here we go. Inhale up, bend your elbows and exhale. Look up, reach to the sky, take a breath. Lay your belly on your legs, breathe out, touch your toes or come close. Bring your hands to your knees, take a halfway lift, touch your toes. Roll your spine up slow, let your shoulders come up first and then lower. We do this a lot in class, inhale up. Bend your elbows and exhale. Reach to the sky, inhale. Belly comes to the legs, exhale, we touch the toes. Hands to the knees, take a breath, rise up. Exhale, folds. Roll up slow, we're gonna add on here. Drop your shoulders, here we go, inhale up. Bend your elbows and exhale. Inhale up. 
Exhale, lower the belly, touch your toes. Come up halfway, touch your toes. This time we're gonna come all the way up, big long breath. Bend your elbows, reach to the sky. Lay your belly on your legs, touch your toes. Come up halfway, touch your toes. We have that dynamic breath. Inhale all the way up and we stay. This is called mountain pose and mountains represent strength, our inner strength. Here in Colorado, we have beautiful Pikes Peak to our west. And there are most days that we're blessed to be able to see that mountain. And so when we look at the mountain, we see that symbol of strength. We know that its presence is always there. Take a breath in, tee out your arms and hold here. Here's what sometimes we forget. That our strength is always there. And Pikes Peak is a reminder that on the cloudy days and we can't see the Pikes Peak, we can't see it at all, it's still there. And on cloudy days in our own life, our strength is still there. We're gonna take our right hand, lower it, left arm goes to the sky. Okay, left palm is gonna reach up and over. So we're gonna have this big stretch from the left elbow all the way down to the left hip. If your left hip wants to lift, see if you can push that left cheek into the floor. So in this time of growth and seasonal change, renewal, many people find spring to be renewing, come back to the T-shape. We forget in this season of growth to remember that we are so strong and so resilient. Drop your left hand, reach your right hand to the sky. Turn your palm away from you and reach. Feel that elbow to hip. If the hip wants to lift, push it into the chair. Beautiful. Come back to a T-shape. Notice how much upper body work there is in chair yoga. You might start to feel some tension in the belly. That's because sitting upright requires core strength. Bring your hands together, palm to palm. Interlace your fingers like a basket. Flip your basket inside out and push. Nice for the wrists. Bring your elbows to your heart, or hands to your heart, elbows open and push. I considered kicking the cat out of the studio because he's usually sleeping. He's decided to join and play. You might see a little black furball running around. His name is Leo. Keep going. He loves to be out here with me. Two more. Push. All right. One more and we're going to stay. We're going to stay. Push it way out. Now, if this is uncomfortable, you can undo the hands and just hook them this way. But this is a nice stretch, especially if you do a lot of computer work, getting that carpal tunnel reach up to the sky as best you can. If your shoulders are really tight, separate your hands and do what you can. Notice the heart here. I purposely wore my shirt thankful because I wanted to always be reminded of thanks. I'm going to lift that thankful to the sky, lift my nose, reach back, get a big good morning stretch and then lower my hands. Unhook the basket and just roll your hands apart just for a minute or two, okay? That can be a little bit um, tense for the joints, but it's so good to bring blood flow there. So we're gonna move down to the lower body for a little bit and create a sequence using our legs with our arms. I'm gonna just adjust my camera a tiny bit. Okay, so I'm going to, there he goes. I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm gonna hook it open like this. My left knee is forward. My right knee is here. I'm going to take my right arm into the inside of my leg. So I'm pushing some tension there to give a nice stretch through my inner thigh and groin. Left arm's going to reach out to a T and then up we go. Left arm goes high and my hand is going to slip towards the floor as I reach. This is called extended side angle. So from here, I want to turn my heart up just a little bit. So that beautiful word thankful is lifting. I'm not collapsed through my chest. I'm lifting. We're going to do this a few times. So just follow along and then we will put it all together. Come back to straight spine. Tee out your arms. Let's do the other side. Lower your arms. Right knee comes forward. Left knee hooks over that corner of the chair. 
Left arm goes to the inside. The first thing I'm gonna do is push against my leg and get a stretch here. Right arm goes out to the side. Up we go, right arm high. And then as I reach, I lean. Extended side angle. My left ribs just collapse. I'm gonna lift them up a little bit. Beautiful, take a breath. And here we go, inhale we rise. Use your core. Bring the left knee forward and lower your arms. Try that again. Right knee opens. Right arm goes down. Notice the fluidity in my body. Left arm to the sky. Exhale over. Inhale up. Exhale. Return to the beginning. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Lower your left, inhale, lift your heart, and over we go. Inhale up, exhale lower. So let's create a sequence just with those movements. We're gonna start with the sun salute, and then we're gonna add that side angle, and then we're gonna add on. It's perfect for Saturday morning. Here we go, inhale up. Bend your elbows, lift your heart, exhale. Inhale up, lay your belly on your legs, lower down. Touch your knees and look forward. Touch your toes. A dynamic, inhale up. Take your right leg, open it, exhale, lower your right hand. Left arm's always up there, inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up, tee out your arms. Exhale, return to where we started. We're gonna do the whole thing again. Sun salute, inhale up. Bend your elbows and exhale. Inhale up. Belly on the legs, exhale. Touch your knees, inhale. Touch your toes, exhale. Big dynamic breath in, inhale up. Left leg jumps over, exhale, left arm lowers. Take a breath, side angle. Inhale, up we go. Left leg returns, exhale to a T. Lower your arms. Let's play with some warriors. Do you feel that energy in your body? What's happening here? So good. Right leg's gonna open again. Left leg, if you can, this is a little tricky, especially if you're on a sofa, you're gonna straighten that leg, okay? So my left leg is shooting out to a diagonal. My right hip is extended really nicely open. Open your arms to a T. This is called warrior two, okay? So we're gonna create a beautiful sequence here. Legs are set up, right knee is open. I want you to not see my face. All right, here we go, warrior two. You're gonna turn your nose to your right hand. Gaze there. Let's go back to the garden. Notice that one thing that might be getting in the way of the potential that we're gonna plant some seeds next month in our heart, some opportunities for growth. Lower your shoulders, extend your arms like you wanna reach from one side of the room to the other. Flip your right hand, palm face up. Take your right hand to the sky, lower your left. We call this one peaceful warrior or reverse warrior. We're gonna add some breath here. Take a breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your palm, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Two more, inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. One more, inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Bring your left arm around to meet your right. Palms are going to be touching like this. The arms are going to be straight. So you're going to feel this rotation through the belly. My belly button is working towards that right knee, but it's never going to get there. Pull your left arm back like you're holding a bow and arrow and look at your right hands. Take a breath in. Exhale, they touch. You're going to feel some rotation through your ribs here. Inhale, pull. Exhale, touch. Inhale. Try to wrap your belly around, keep going. This is one of my favorite 
sequences that comes from the tradition of kundalini yoga, which is energy in the body. We have five more, make it dynamic. Close your eyes, feel your body here. A few more. Next time your elbow is back, stay. Take your right thumb, reach it to the sky. Keep hold of that bow and arrow, okay? So we're holding the arrow with our left hand. The bow is aiming to the sky. Take a breath. Release your bow. Imagine. Imagine the potential of what we think here. Let's do the other side. Knees come back together. Left leg goes open. Right leg is going to straighten. Now, remember, I had knee surgery just one week ago right here. So this may not happen. So here's how I modify. My right leg is not able to go fully straight comfortably. So I'm going to find a modified warrior two. Left leg is open. My right leg is just going to be where it is. The knee's bent. That's okay because I'm dealing with something in my body. Never do we want to say, well, I'm going to do it anyway, because that's what we call in yoga. The concept of ahimsa is non-harming. If I was to push my leg that way, I would be harming me. When I think judgment about others, I am harming them. Here we go. Tee out your arms. Warrior two, left side. Flip your left hand. Go back to your garden. For me, I have some disappointment that is cluttering up my heart. And I know in order for me to grow, I need to pull that weed out of that dirt and make space for something good. Inhale, left arm goes to the sky. We have that peaceful warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Really reach, inhale, reverse warrior or peaceful. Exhale, warrior two, three more. Reach from side of the room to side of the room. Find your breath here. If you're not moving with me, that's okay. You're moving with your own breath. We got one more. Reverse it. Come back to warrior two. Bring that right arm around and find that bow and arrow. So keep your arms there while I just remind you that we're really looking at wrapping the ribs around. This is squeezing the spine, massaging those internal organs. And then the energy behind this is our bow and arrow is powerful. This is our intent. You might notice here, this side feels mm, a little bit harder to get around. There's something going on in my body that this is more challenging. Rather than judge and shame, feel as though something's wrong, just accept. Pull your right elbow back. Look at your left thumb. That is your bow. That's your intent. Take a breath. Palms together. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Pull back. Inhale. Touch. Exhale. Five more. One more. One more. Pull your elbow back and stay. Strong arms, right? Super powerful. Draw a line with your left thumb to the sky. That is the intent. Take a breath in. Blow it out. And return to the front. We're going to take our legs so that both legs are wide. I often say this is like we're sitting on a thoroughbred horse. I got my pink fuzzy slippers on. All right, hips are wide. I'm on the edge of my chair. Fingers are going to go to the inside, thumb to the outside. I'm going to lean forward. This is going to release our back. We've done a lot of those side body stretches, which can cause the back to be a little tense at times. And check it out. I'm going to drop my left shoulder and look over my right shoulder. Come back to center. Drop my right shoulder and look over my left. Come back to center. Drop left, look right. Twists are so important. Think of rototilling your garden. Switch again. One of the things we do, keep going. Just find your rhythm. In the springtime, as we turn over that soil, 
right? We bring life into the soil. And in that process, we notice there's some trash and twigs and leaves and old plants from two years ago that's still there. And so this process of moving our body, we're actually bringing life into that heart garden. Do one more each side, like rototilling the stuff that's in there that does not need to be there anymore. Like my disappointment, come on back, bend both elbows a bunch, let your belly sink. You're gonna touch the floor. One hand goes down, the other hand goes down. I'm gonna come all the way down here. Palms are on the floor, you do your best. And then tuck your chin and just let your head be heavy. This is a wide-legged seated fold. Feel the stretch along the back. Feel the heaviness in your belly. Take one more breath cycle. And then bring your hands back to your legs for support and push your body upright, okay? As we continue to practice, we may find some core strength where we don't need to bring our hands back to our legs and we can just simply lift, okay? But we just don't wanna push too much, all right? Let's find a little bit of leg work and balance work. First thing we're gonna do is grab our left leg. I'm gonna interlace my fingers around that basket and squeeze it in, okay? So I'm putting a little bit of pressure on the left side body, which is where our spleen and stomach live. And this helps with digestion, okay? We're gonna do a couple things here. Take a breath, breathe out. Slip your hands underneath your leg. So I'm holding onto my thigh here. I'm gonna straighten my leg as best I can and bend it in. Okay, so this is bringing some nice mobility to the knee. The more that we move our joints, the more that we create our natural ability to create synovial fluid which is what lubricates the joints. Now keep going. I'm just gonna show you what has happened to my back. This is just an opportunity for mindfulness here. So as I'm doing this, I notice that I'm slouching, sit tall. So we're working our core here. You might feel a little bit in your hip flexor. That's just some work here. Do two more, straighten and bend, straighten and bend. We'll do one more for fun and then bend and come on back. I'm gonna take that leg and cross it over. Like I have a short skirt on, even for the fellas. Now, if you are not able to cross at a tight thigh to thigh cross, slip your ankles together, okay? So we're still crossing the midline. We're still working through the hips and the pelvis. Either one is perfect. I'm gonna take it this way. Reach your arms out like you wanna just hold my hands. Take a breath in and lower your hands over, let your belly find your legs. Bring your hands as far down as you can. Maybe the chin can find that top knee, maybe not. Beautiful, we're gonna stay here for one breath cycle and then we're gonna add on, feel the stretch. Take your left arm and reach it up to the sky. It can be hard, so maybe it's just the elbow. Okay, so we're getting this full stretch through the body. Rise up, tee out your arms, keep your legs squeezing together or your ankles, totally your preference. We're gonna come into what we call eagle pose. We're gonna take the arms and make an X. Left arm is on the bottom. Bring your hands to your shoulders. Okay, if you have wonderful, fluid shoulders, you may be able to wrap your wrists, okay? We're going to lift the elbows either way. So if you're here, elbows are lifted. If you're wrapping the wrists, elbows are lifted. Both is an option. We're going to continue to lift the elbows and continue to squeeze those thighs together, okay? Squeeze and squeeze. Now we're going to breathe our eagle here. Elbows are gonna lower towards the belly, round the spine. First time we've really allowed that rounding. And then inhale, drive the elbows to the sky, lift the heart. Exhale, pull the belly button in, elbows in, round. 
Inhale up. Exhale, pull in. Find heat in the core, elbows up. Elbows down. Two more, elbows up. Elbows down. One more, elbows up. Elbows down. Elbows to neutral, which is shoulder height. Tee out your arms. Keep the squeeze in those legs. We're going to turn like a sundial. Right hand comes forward. Left hand comes back. Take your right hand and bring it down over your left leg and grab the back of your chair. Okay, so I'm just hooked on to here. Now I'm going to lengthen my spine and turn and look past my left shoulder and notice something beautiful. Feel that in your belly. Take a breath and wind back to front. The good news, you got two legs. Uncross your legs. Gonna grab our right leg, lift it up, interlace your fingers. Remember, just had knee surgery, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of modifying. Notice that my belly has collapsed. So instead of putting pressure where my surgery was, I'm gonna hold here. Okay, so I've lifted my chest, not lazy yoga, aligned yoga. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze my thigh towards my liver here. So this side is our liver. Lots of medications running through my body these days. I wanna put a little bit of pressure against the liver, which restricts the blood flow just for a moment or two. And then as I release my leg, fresh blood dumps into my liver and pushes out the junk. So I'm gonna find my hands underneath my leg and we're gonna do that straightening and bending. Watch your belly, mine's collapsing. So I'm gonna lift tall, straighten and bend. Remember, this knee is not gonna straighten much today. And I find acceptance there. Ahimsa, non-harming, letting my body heal in the fashion and pace that it needs to heal. Doesn't mean I don't work at it. I'm not gonna push it, I have two more. Lift your heart. Perfect, swing that leg over the left. Remember, you can have the ankles crossed. I prefer to have my knees crossed, feels nice. Reach towards me, take a breath, lay your belly on that top leg and lower your hands. I'm gonna bring my chin right to me. Feel the roundedness in my spine. Feel the release through the right side of your low back. Keep your legs as they are and begin to roll up slow. Drop your shoulders, tee out your arms. Keep your legs zipped up like that. Make the X, this time right arm under. Grab your shoulders. We've got eagle on the right side. Squeeze your legs together. This is perfect for regulating our blood pressure. So we squeeze those joints. Now you can find the palms together too. We're gonna lift the elbows. And let's find that breath. Inhale, elbows rise, heart lift. Exhale, pull in, round the spine. Inhale, elbows rise. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, lift. Close your eyes. Exhale, pull in. You have two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Sit tall, unwind the arms. Keep the legs as they are. We're gonna take the left hand in front, spin like a sundial. Lower your left arm across that bent right leg. Lower your right hand to the sofa or the chair. Get long through your spine. Turn the body, look over your right shoulder. Come on back to center. Uncross the legs, we're almost finished. You should feel ignited. Open and close your legs. Get into the hips. Release a little bit here. We're going to play with just straightening the leg and getting a wide or a straight-legged forward fold. We're going to work our balance just a little bit. 
I'm gonna adjust my camera one more time. So my left leg, I'm gonna turn just slightly. You can be facing me, but I'm gonna turn slightly. I'm gonna straighten my left leg and my toes are up towards the ceiling. Right leg is just gonna hang out in the bent position. I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna allow them to travel down my left leg. It may be that you get halfway there to your knee and you're good, that's fine. Maybe you can reach towards your ankle or possibly your toes, but remember, non-harming. Take a breath in and lower your nose towards your knee. It may never get there and that's not the goal. The goal is to just be and breathe. Take another breath in. Perhaps lower the nose a quarter of an inch. Take a breath in. Perhaps a quarter of the inch on your exhale. The next inhale, like a flower coming up in spring, you're just gonna roll up slow, so slow. Let your hands just travel. Let's do the other side. Bend your left knee, bring it in. Right leg is gonna go straight out in front and the toes are up towards the ceiling. So you will feel a pull and a stretch that's healthy and good behind the right leg. Sit tall, take a breath in. And hands begin that journey down, sliding. You might get to the knee and decide, that's good for my back, and I'm going to just stay right here. You might tuck your chin, bring your heart and chin together, or you might take a breath and lower just a little bit more. Our eyes are looking down at our knee, and the direction is that the nose works towards that right knee. Two breaths on your own. Just feel... And like that flower unfurling, you're going to roll up slowly. Let your hands travel up the leg. And bring your knees back together. Let's play with a little bit of balance pose. We often think, how, how can balance be of benefit if I'm in a chair? And it absolutely, most definitely can be of benefit. Bring my hands together. We call this Anjali Mudra. It means to offer. And I want you to close your eyes just for a minute. And I want you to press your thumbs against your heart space. And take your mind back to the garden that's outside, maybe a garden you've visited or one that you have in your backyard. And just notice the heap of dirt and the leaves that have blown in from fall on the little twigs. As I was outside the other day, right before my surgery, I was scanning my garden beds and I noticed there was even a couple of wrappers of trash that had blown in through the winter. And before any seeds go in that garden, I will be plucking out the trash, little leaves and twigs. And I want you to go into your heart, your garden that is preparing its soil inside your heart. And just notice those little bits of things that have been carried over from last year. In the coming weeks, we'll be plucking out the disappointments, the fears, the uncertainties, the regrets, the disappointments, and the resentments. Take a breath. Empty the breath. Open up your eyes. Keep your hands in Anjali Mudra. You're gonna lift your left leg, okay? So immediately the core engages. We're gonna take our Anjali Mudra, open it like a flower so my thumbs are staying together, my pinkies are staying together. And in the theme of spring that is three days away, we're gonna take our flower and reach it towards the sky. Keep your right knee lifted. Once your flower gets above your head, take a breath and open your branches into what we call tree pose. This part of your body just might be firing up. Watch what's gonna happen. Try not to sink into the belly, lift. We're gonna open the knee and close the knee. 
We have three of these open, closed, open, closed, and lower. You might feel hmm, something's happening there. Give it a little wiggle here. Remember that synovial fluid. Every time we move a joint, we create something nice inside the body. Bring your hands back to Anjali Mudra. Lower your shoulders, sit really tall. If you could imagine looking inside your body without clothes and skin and flesh, that spine is straight. That's what we want to create. Open up your Anjali Mudra into a flower. Lift your right knee. Grow your flower to the sky. Open your arms wide. Open your right knee. Okay, watch that spine. Imagine it straight, not collapsed. Here we go. Inhale forward. Exhale open. Inhale. If it's difficult, you can slide your foot along the floor. Lots of options. We got one more. We open it and we close it. Lower your arms. Open and close that leg. A little bit of juice there. Okay, we're going to stack our arms like fire logs. I'm going to scoot my cheeks back on my chair just a little bit. Knees are bent, feet are flat. I'm going to open my fire logs like a cactus. And then close my fire logs with the opposite arm on the bottom. Okay, we're going to do this a few times. This is great for our brain, great for our Saturday. Here we go. Open and close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. If you forget which arm is on the bottom, it's not going to change your life. Just do your best. Keep going. Now, to make this a little bit more challenging, close your eyes. Stack your fire logs. Open. Stack. Open. Shoulders should be feeling delightful. Two more. Stack. Open. Stack. Open. Stay. Tip your cactus over. Elbow towards the hip. Left arm to the sky. Come back to cactus. We're almost there. Left elbow, left hip, right arm to the sky. Feel the stretch. Come back to cactus. And lower your arms. Close your eyes. In the tradition of yoga, it is common that each and every morning, a sun salute or sun salutation, or in Sanskrit, it's called Surya Namaskar A is how the intent of the day is presented to the yogi. So the yogi typically faces the east and puts an intention in the heart and the mind of what they would like to create that day because we know that our thoughts are powerful, right? And if our thoughts of the day is today is going to suck or today is going to be miserable or today is, then it's highly likely and probable that that will be our outcome. If our intent, mind and body and heart, is I choose gratitude, I choose life, I choose to purge the things in my garden that are no longer serving me, I choose to purge last year's stuff so that my heart is cultivating the space for growth, right? I choose that. And so as a yogi wakes up in the morning, it could be so simple. It could just simply be intending, what am I going to create today? And moving your body in a slight stretch or two, or you could come into that sun salutation that we're going to finish class with, that we began with. So we're going to do three rounds. We still have an entire day ahead of us. And we get to choose what we're going to create. Lower your palms, turn them towards me, drop your shoulders. You can have your eyes open or closed for this. I prefer to have closed eyes. It's totally your preference. Circle your arms to the sky. Take a breath. Bend your elbows and exhale. Reach to the sky. Inhale. Lay your belly on your legs. Exhale. Hands to your knees. Come up halfway. Take a breath. 
touch your toes and breathe out. A dynamic circling, welcoming in the Saturday. Inhale all the way. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale to the sky where there's hope and possibility. Exhale, reach to the floor, lay your belly down. Come up halfway. Touch your toes, our last one. Circle up to the sky where there's hope. Bend your elbows and exhale. Inhale to the sky, that strong mountain pose. Exhale, lay your belly on your leg. Come up halfway, create space. Touch your toes and stay here. Let your belly fall against your thighs. Close your eyes and take one full breath cycle in a forward fold. And then slowly rise up. Lower your shoulders. Create that long spine. Close your eyes. Place your right hand on your heart. Your left hand on your belly. Feel your heart beating. That physical reminder of life. And as you inhale and exhale, feel your body's response to breathing, how the chest rises, the belly expands, the body settles. And remember the elevator breath that we began practice with. Let's go ahead and find that. Bring your attention to the base of your body low. Take a breath in, let the elevator rise, feel it. Lower the elevator. Take three breaths on your own, letting your hands follow the rhythm of your breath. Two more. One more beautiful, life-sustaining breath. Empty everything out. Lower your palms to your lap. Keep your eyes closed. Return to a natural rhythm of breath. Take a moment to be grateful for this beautiful Saturday, March 18th. There will never be another one exactly like it. And today we get to choose what we create, what we eliminate from our heart. And we do so with deep appreciation for this day, for this practice, for this opportunity, and this breath. I'm so grateful that you chose to show up today. I know that many of you either receiving the recording or here on the call could be doing anything but this. And so I deeply appreciate your choice to spend 45, 50 minutes with me, with yourself, with your body and with your breath. I look forward to doing this again Monday at 1030. If you'd like a recording, just shoot me a message. And then coming up in April, there'll be some more opportunities to practice virtual chair yoga, I also have a wonderful workshop that's virtual that's based on some teachings of Brene Brown that I took in 2016 that is finding our deepest core value and how we implement that value into our daily life. I have that coming up and then next Wednesday evening at 6.30 Mountain Time, we're going to do a specific class on the hips, the sacral chakra, our energy of creativity and really kind of rototilling what we want to create in our life this coming season. So if you'd like access to that, just shoot me a message. And I think that's it. So blessings to you. And if you'd like a recording of this, just shoot me a message. I'm happy to share. And I appreciate you so much. So have a beautiful Saturday and I will see you all very soon, I hope. Take care and be well.